So I will guide you to the setup of the project that we will use in this workshop. As you can see, I have here a browser, an editor, whatever editor you prefer, and a terminal. So the first thing you have to do is to go to the URL you find in the video description on GitHub. This is the repository that contains all the code we will use through the workshop. In the README, there is a short description of the project, but we will go through it together later, so you don't need to do it now. And some instructions. Now I um, will go through the instructions with you, so we are sure everybody is on the same page. So the first thing is to clone the repository. And what you have to do is to go here, copy this address to your terminal and run git clone the URL that you copied. It goes, fetches the whole repository. So now you have a pytest underscore workshop directory. And inside you have all the files that you can find here. So the second thing you need to do is to create a virtual environment. There are many ways to create virtual environments in Python, um, or at least there are many ways to manage them. So I don't want to go into this because it's a broad subject. And so I gave you the easiest way easy solution, which is to create a virtual environment in the package directory. We can discuss for ages about this. Uh, it's not the point of the workshop, so bear with me. Uh, Python 3-m vmv loads the vmv module and then give it a name. So I used to call it vmv3, so I remember I use it Python 3. Cool, this creates the virtual environment. And now you need to activate it. So source name of the virtual environment being activate. And now you get the name of the virtual environment here. Perfect. If you check which Python, which version of Python you're using, you can see it's inside the virtual environment. So yes, this is. The fourth thing you need to do is to install requirements. And usually requirements are listed in um, a requirements.txt file. Requirements are third-party libraries or frameworks, packages that you want to use inside your project. So I do something a bit different. I want to go into it briefly. So I used to create three files inside the requirements directory. One is prod.txt, one is test.txt, and the last one is dev.txt. And the reason to do this is that the requirements of my project or my package are different according to the environment in which it runs. So when you run your package in production, you will need probably a smaller set of libraries, the framework and everything, when you test it, you need more packages. For example, you need all the packages to test it, like PyTest or Coverage. And when you develop, you need more packages because you want, for example, to create the documentation, to manage your version, etc. So what I do is to create the prod, prod txt in this case, it's empty because this is just a workshop. Um, then test txt that installs everything is in production plus some packages, and dev txt which installs everything is in test txt plus other packages. Long story short, what you need to do is to go to your terminal and pip install dash r. The, sorry, requirements slash dev.txt. This installs dev.txt, test.txt, and prod.txt, which is empty in this case. Here we are. You can notice I already run this many times, so pip is using the cache. But whatever you 
did before. This is this should be the outcome of the command. The last thing we need to do is to edit PyTest in order to skip the virtual environment. This is because the way PyTest works is to try PyTest tries to automatically discover files, Python files who contain tests. And to do this, PyTest goes into all the subdirectories and tries to find all the files which name starts with the test underscore. So basically what uh, PyTest does is something similar to this, which is a Unix command to go into this directory and all the subdirectories to find all the files which name starts with test underscore. And if I run it, this is not what PyTest does actually, but this is the Unix command that performs the same action. If I run it, you see I find a test underscore calc file in this directory, which is the, the, the file we will use during the workshop. But then I find a lot of files inside the virtual environment. And this happens because the packages you installed in your virtual environment come with their own tests. And we don't want to run those tests in our session before because we are not testing those packages. We are testing only ours, our package. Uh, so what we want to do is to tell PyTests don't go into the virtual environment uh, directory in this case. So what we have to do is to go into the uh, package and open the PyTest ini file. This is the uh, configuration of PyTest. So get this option and add here the name of your virtual environment. Save. And now you are ready to run PyTest. So once you did this, you can run pytest-svv and see what happens. What should happen is this that you see on my terminal. So some text here, some configuration, and then no tests run. This is because we didn't write any tests yet. As you can see, PyTest gives you some information about the environment, what, uh, which version of Python, which version of PyTest. Uh, some plugins and about the dash svv this is just a, a standard set of options i use is verbose and then preserving the strings and we'll tell you later in detail what these options do and that's it if you get this you are all set up ready to go